this past week, we began a study looking at a story about a man who came to Jesus, an expert in the law, and he had a question for Jesus. He said, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Now, the problem with this was, the scripture tells us this man came to test Jesus, not to trust him. And if there's one thing we don't want to do is get into a mode of trying to test Jesus on everything in order to get our way. That's really what this man was doing. We know later in the text it says that he simply wanted to justify himself. Now Jesus dealt with the man very lovingly. He asked him some questions. He asked him, how was it written in God's word or how was it written in the laws, what he said. And then not only that, he said, I want to know how you interpret it. How do you read it? And these two questions got the man talking and it revealed his heart that really all he wanted to do was to justify himself. He knew the truth, but he wasn't willing to live the truth. This past week and this coming Sunday, we're going to talk in detail about how to overcome the lure and the power of justifying ourselves. How do we do that? We're going to look at that specifically. Interestingly, I came across an article written by uh, carinsurance.com. They did a survey and they wanted to know how people got out of speeding tickets. What excuses did they use that actually worked? And here are the top five that worked. Now maybe you've used some of these, I don't know. But here's what they said. Those top five that worked were simply this. They claimed, number one, that they didn't realize they were speeding. This worked 32% of the time. The second was they said they were late to work. That worked 20% of the time. They told police there was a medical emergency. That worked another 20% of the time. And then they, fourthly, offered that they had to use the bathroom. This worked 17% of the time. And then they said they just simply did not see the speed limit sign. And this worked 17% of the time. A quarter of the people using these top five excuses got out of their speeding ticket. Now that's interesting. It works sometimes with an officer that pulls you over. Well, let me say this to you. It never works with Jesus to use an excuse. It never works with Jesus to try to justify yourself. What he will do every time is direct you back to the truth, help you understand the truth, because he knows only when we are living the truth can we truly make a difference. Will we ever truly have peace? When we're trying to justify our behavior, we're trying to argue to get our way with God, it never works. We're going to study this further this Sunday. And one of the things I really want us to grasp is that when we surrender to the Lord, we're going to willingly obey, not try to justify ourselves and our position and our actions and our attitude. We're going to say, Lord, what can I do? And who do you want me to engage? And when that happens, it's amazing how God begins to work through our lives for His glory. So don't miss this. The words that he shares that we're going to study this week are so powerful. We must hear them. We must take them to heart so that we can live in such a way to see other people's lives transformed by the truth as we live by that truth as well. So I'll look forward to worshiping with you this Sunday.